hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i apologize that i haven't made any videos recently and this video is going to be more of a personal vlog than anything else and an update for you guys about how i'm doing so i'll just jump into it i've been doing well physically so i am improving every day yeah, I mean, like, some days are more difficult than others, but I've noticed a change in my pain, and, like, the only way I can compare it is that before surgery, it was, like, really sharp, uh, constant, really, really deep, uh, bone ache, and now it's more of, like, a, um, more of a soreness kind of an ache and a lot of muscle pain. But I was able to walk around in a Walmart and Target for the first time in months. I haven't been able to do that in a really long time. Even months before surgery, just because between my leg and my spine, it was super difficult for me to like walk in a store that was bigger than like a Walgreens. So like if we went to Walmart or a Target, I would need to use my wheelchair or a scooter. So. Um, I was able to walk in a Target and a Walmart, and I didn't need my wheelchair, and that happened the other day. That was pretty cool, but however, I still I am recovering from surgery, and I spend a lot of time in bed because sitting for too long is still very painful. Uh, when I went to the doctor, they basically pretty much just want you to get back into, um, they want you to get back into like your normal everyday activities before they put you through like physical therapy and things that are more challenging. And so I don't see my doctor until the end of August. So that's kind of where I'm at physically. Emotionally, however, it's I've been struggling and I want to talk about it because I feel like it's important especially for people like me uh, who have a chronic illness or who have just had surgery. For me personally, I always get very depressed, very depressed after I have a surgery, um, usually after I have a major operation, and um, I've been struggling with that a lot. It's really difficult to explain exactly what like goes through my head because there's so much that I am struggling with at the moment. I haven't even talked to my therapist yet because I have been ignoring the traumatic experiences that I went through with the surgery because I went, I did find this surgery to be the most traumatic surgery I've ever had for multiple different reasons. I haven't really talked to my therapist. I haven't talked to her about it yet, and I've been home from rehab for uh, about a month now. I've been struggling with my body image and with feeling confident about myself. And this always happens to me after I have surgery, and I don't know why. It just, I don't know. When you are a young individual, you know, I social media used to be a fun experience for me. But now, to be honest with you, as a disabled person, it makes me sad. Because I go online and I see that are my age and younger and older who are out, you know, um, living their lives and having a lot of fun and traveling and having kids and getting married. Uh, that's not what my life looks like. My life is very different from somebody else who is my age. I am actually this upcoming November is my 10 year high school reunion and like I really want to go but at the same time 
I don't because I was used back then in high school I had three major operations and I missed a lot of school so I had two spinal fusion surgeries and I had one leg major leg operation where they replaced the rod that I had in my left femur but I was kind of labeled as that back brace girl and you know the girl who always had surgery that was that was what people labeled me as at school and when I left you know high school when I graduated and when my family moved away and I was around people who didn't know me before you know I began to kind of grow into my facial features because I grew up overweight and I was not the cute one and I was made fun of for it um, and bullied for it but I'm scared to go to my reunion because I am in an even worse position now than I was then and I feel like I don't have a lot of accomplishments imagine when you go to your 10 year high school reunion you know you catch up on life what have you been up to what are you doing for work you know like are you married how many kids do you have for me I am just I've pretty much I mean since I graduated well from the age 18 to like 22 I was pretty normal but still I don't know I'm just I'm having a hard time with my identity at the moment trying to figure out what my place in this world is what I want to do with myself I have all these things and ideas in my head that I want to do but I'm having a hard time finding the motivation to do them because I'm depressed I got through the surgery and I got through the rehab and you know I did all the work but there's also when you know when you come home it's not like you know everything is all peachy again go through I don't know how to explain it when you come home from the hospital your treatment doesn't end and your recovery doesn't end and actually I feel like when you get home that's when it's almost even more difficult because then you're home and you want to you want to hang out with your friends and you want to do things that normal people do but you can't and it's depressing and you know I turned 28 this in June I just what do I have to show for myself and I'm really really struggling with my body image uh, when I was in the hospital I was not eating due to like uh, appetite problems and nausea and comparing not comparing but um, associating their food with vomiting because I got really sick when I first got there so like I, the food just disgusted me so like the entire time that I was there I pretty much didn't eat very much but when I got home uh, I began to eat and so now I'm uncomfortable and in my skin I just I'm having a hard time I don't know I feel like it's important to talk about I guess just because I I personally I always fall into a depression and I feel like there's not not a lot of people talk about it they don't talk about the emotional side of when you have a physical disability or um, a chronic illness or you know anything of that type the mental and emotional aspect is just as important as the physical aspect and that's the biggest battle because you know you're going to get through the physical stuff. It's physical, but, you know, and a doctor can fix that. But the mental part, that's on you to fix. That's on you, and you need to work through that. I 
can't go to a therapist and the therapist isn't going to fix me or a procedure's not going to fix me. I need to work through those issues and I guess I'm just having a hard time. So, I don't know if you guys have any ideas of how to cope with depression and anxiety after having major operation or whatever if you're feeling the same way for a different reason and you have any advice um, I would love that I think that's pretty much all I've got just an update video <laughs> about just being honest I know it wasn't like a happy woohoo video but this is my life this is what I'm dealing with I'm gonna be honest about it I don't know, I want to bring up the Demi Lovato issue um, where she overdosed the other day and she has been open and honest about her struggles with her eating disorder and her addiction issues and her alcohol um, problem and as somebody who has an eating disorder and has family who, um, who has a family member who is an addict, I can look up to her for her being honest about her struggle and being vulnerable enough to share her story. So I wanted to share mine and talk about it because people don't talk about it enough and it's not uncommon. People suffer from depression and they suffer from anxiety and they suffer from PTSD and they suffer from um, flashbacks and mental health sh mental health issues and bipolar and the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and we need to talk about it because it is it needs to be talked about and people need to feel like they're not alone I've been there I've seen uh, how that affects people around you and just everything I just felt like I needed to make this video so um, if you would like to like it leave a comment I don't know subscribe to my youtube channel make me happy um and yeah I guess I'll see you guys soon